welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Malka and today I will share with you five facts on how and why we celebrate to be Shvat. And if you like this kind of content all about learning how to celebrate the Jewish holidays, saving money, saving time, discovering delicious kosher recipes while simplifying yet leading a more meaningful Jewish life, please consider subscribing. So let's jump into it. In recent years, we have seen this minor Jewish holiday being celebrated as the Jewish Earth Day, a day on which we should go for long walks, be more mindful of our planet, and plant a tree while singing Kumbaya. All these are beautiful activities, but are not at all what Tu Bishvat is about. The second fact about Tu Bishvat is that it is part of the four new years of the Jewish calendar. The first of Nisan, which takes place in spring, correlates with the creation of man. The first of Elul in the summer is a traditional time of introspection. The first of Tishrei during the fall gives us the opportunity to connect, to be inspired, to become the better version of ourselves. And finally, to Bishvat, which is in the middle of the winter. So you're going to tell me what is the link between the four new years? Well, all these new years have a common thread. It gives us the opportunity to start again, to begin with a clean slate. It is an eternal message from God that whatever state we are in, we have a chance to start fresh. The third fact about Tubishvat is that there are many customs on Tubishvat, and one of the most popular is to increase the amount of fruits you will have on that day. Why does the fruits have such a special attention? Because God created fruit solely to give us pleasure and to show that He desires to bestow goodness upon us. So before biting in your delicious fruits, don't forget to do a blessing making sure that you are thanking God for his ongoing kindness and love for you. And you can find all the blessings for the fruits and much more as a free printable in the description box below. Another fun fact about Tu Bishvat is that you can also do a seder for Tu Bishvat, which is an arrangement that will include the seven species characteristic from the land of Israel. That will include wheat, barley, grapes, figs, pomegranate, olives, and dates. All of these seven species have a deep and mystical significance. Our fifth fact about Tu Bishvat is that although this day is the Rosh Hashanah for trees, we attach special significance to this holiday because man is compared to the tree of the field. What does it mean? It means that through cultivating strong roots, through our faith and commitment to God, we produce many fruits through our Torah study and mitzvah or commandments observances. So what are we supposed to learn from Tu Bishvat? Because with every Jewish holiday, we have to exit the holiday differently than the way we entered it. So what is the essence, what is at the core of Tu Bishvat? Is it only to eat some fruits? Not at all. This time marks a turning point when the sap of the tree is starting to rise under all that snow. It reminds us that within the darkest and coldest moments of our lives can arise the most beautiful source of life and potential. The ultimate message of Tu Bishvat is that we have to have emuna, faith that God is there to help us, to bestow kindness upon us. And through our prayers, our blessings, our tefillah, we connect with Him and recognize God as the one in control. I'm going to wish you a Tu Bishvat Sameach, a happy Tu Bishvat. May this time be a springboard for you to better connect with the others, with yourself, and ultimately with God. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, all about simplifying yet leading a more meaningful Jewish life. Until next time, stay safe, stay blessed, and don't forget to from it up.